One minute, you're just under the mothership, just normal airplane flying. And from when you drop, like literally 30 seconds later, you're rocketing out of the atmosphere. And, and it is a sensory overload, surreal experience in a very good way. You get to fulfill someone's lifelong dream of, of being able to go to space. That, that's just a special feeling, and to be a, a small part of that is, is amazing. So uh, Lieutenant Colonel Mike Masucci, class of 85, is there from 81 to 85, of course, and uh, I'm currently the lead instructor pilot for Virgin Guard. Bit with the space bug, uh, starting with Apollo, and then uh, Skylab, and then on as the uh, shuttle program uh, came up to speed, you know, big sci-fi fan, you know, all, all the typical uh, Star Trek uh, aficionado kind of guy into all that sci-fi stuff. So I studied astronautical engineering there at the Air Force Academy, and. Uh, uh, did okay there, which uh, which was great. I also was on the flying team there, so that uh, sort of laid some foundation for my flying uh, down the road. Definitely uh, very airmanship focused, uh, airmanship uh, aviation leadership focused, which was uh, critical, I think, to my career moving forward as well. Kelly Latimer, class of 87, Wings from Heaven. Uh, currently a test pilot at Virgin Galactic and a uh, retired Lieutenant Colonel from the Air Force. So I was a uh, astronautical engineering. So from that, you can tell that I went there with the goal of someday, you know, flying to space and being an astronaut. I know people ask you that, are you an astronaut? I'm like, even cooler is I'm a spaceship pilot. <laughs> so I came out here to uh, Virgin Galactic. We started in Southern California, at Mojave uh, Air and Space uh, Port. Um, Great facility to do uh, test and development of a of a new vehicle, and we had a lot of a lot of testing to get through. And uh, you know, whenever you know, if space was easy, everybody would do it. So space is hard, and uh, and it's hard to get it right, and it's hard to do it right. And we decided to do it right, and uh, so it took some time. We've been working for this forever and ever, and it happened this summer. And then Galactic Zero Two got to be my first flight, so I got to be in the right seat. And then that was our. Um, First flight taking one of our, um, you know, paying, paying astronauts, one of our, you know, founders. Two months later, I got my first time in the left seat to actually fly the entire profile. And, uh, and then just turning from then, just one month later, I get to fly with uh, suits. So he'll be left seat and I'll be right seat on this one. So that, that's, that's amazing, right? Because this is, uh, uh, you know, two Air Force Academy grads uh, in a spaceship uh, flying out of New Mexico. Who would have thought? You know, that was many, many years ago, just up the road here, you know, in Colorado, while we were up there, that that would have even been an opportunity. Yeah, just to have that kind of shared background from so long ago. And then, you know, both of us kind of had this, this, this dream, this go to space thing, and then to have the chance to get to do it together on a flight is really, really special. But at the same time, we're taking three people in the back that it's their experience, it's their one time ever. And so it's kind of this really just emotional journey to get through the whole thing too. You know, like we all kind of train together and are together and then we all have this, you know, this, this one flight amazing experience together. And to be able to share that with a friend, with an academy, fellow academy grad and a colleague, a professional colleague, a uh, personal friend, is just an amazing experience. Plus, you know, to share with four folks in the back, right? Because that's what it's all about. So for us to have the privilege of taking those uh, customers up, for them to be able to experience that space play uh, is amazing. We train them up to go to space. A uh, several day training program where they come in, and they get very dedicated, specialized training for their space flight and uh, to make it a personal, special event for them, make sure they're meeting their obligations or we're meeting their expectations. My first flight, what really struck me was one minute you're just under the mothership and it takes about 45 minutes to climb up. It's just normal airplane flying that I'm used to. Just one minute you're doing that, and from when you drop, like literally 30 seconds later, you're rocketing out of the atmosphere. It's just, it's just this crazy contrast. And like I said, it was my first flight in the vehicle, first space flight ever. So I was really hyper-focused on what I was supposed to do, making sure I didn't miss anything. So my first flight, I glanced outside a couple times. And I just remember glancing out and going, we are way up here. Like, that's amazing. And then I came back in and then same thing. And then on my second flight, everything slowed down for me to where I was like, oh, now I actually saw that transition. I had more time to actually look out and see it because I just, everything was slower the second time. Every time I go to space, I on purpose try to see something different. In other words, I'll say, okay, on this one, I'm gonna, we wear helmets, standard, uh, what you would see, Air Force helmet with a visor. On this one, I'm gonna raise my visor and I'm gonna use, look out at space through the, through the big windows uh, with just my eyeballs as opposed to through a dark box. Little stuff like that. Uh, this one, I'm gonna turn around and make sure I, see the expressions on the 
on our customer's face. Uh, I want to I experience that. I want to see what they're doing. So yes, every time I go to space, I try on purpose to try and pick up one more tidbit that I might not have seen on the first one. You think you know what it's going to be like and you see the pictures, but then to actually look out the window, you know, and see the planet there, just it's, it's unbelievable. It's just it's so beautiful. The biggest thing in the company's future is we have another vehicle. We, we've gone through and like proven, here's our commercial operation. We'll continue flying Unity. Um, and our biggest focus is the Delta class vehicles. And the goal of those is they're the ones that will take six people in the back. We're gonna produce at least five of them and have them fly. They can fly multiple times per week. And so the goal is with these vehicles, we take the operation from what we have now to being multiple times a week, meaning like hundreds of flights. And that's where you actually get to, this is really, really groundbreaking where everybody's gonna have the opportunity to experience this. You know, going to space is definitely a life altering experience. And it's it, from many ways, right? First, because it's probably been a goal, it may have been a goal of yours and now you've succeeded and filled that goal. But more importantly, you do, when you look back at Earth and you see so much of it, right? And it, it just reminds you how precious everything is. Everything you know is down there. Everything you know is down there. And it just uh, it just it reemphasizes how precious that is. And I think as we do that, more and more and more and more people have that uh, view, and and it's been called the overview effect. Uh, more and more people have that overview effect and that view. It, it definitely puts perspective in people's head. What's important? What's maybe not as important as you thought was important, and and how we move forward.